What's up, yo? It is Mary and Ama, and today we are going to be talking about Pastor Keith telling a woman to Keon. hush. Keon, I think he made Keon. I think it's Keon Keith something. Mm. He had told a woman to hush during a worship session, mm. and he got some backlash. So much backlash that he decided to take the first chance he got to hop onto the Tamron Hall show, Ooh. which I thought was unnecessary because I felt like it would have just died down. Because I mean, I stopped thinking about it after two days. Mm. But the fact that he two has, days. yeah, I'd be <laughs> <Still>. still- <laughs> And because after that, I was like, oh, okay, whatever. I mean, who knows? Maybe he just was yeah. irritated that day and had to take it down with someone. I don't know, um, but. Yeah, so he got some backlash for for that and everything, yeah. and we just wanted to kind of talk about that. Yeah, is this okay? Is the backlash well deserved mm-hmm. or what? Yeah, I mean, because he said that he made a statement that saying that he knows the difference between a disturbance and a worship. Um, and then also yeah. he said that he has been dealing with this from the same woman for four years or whatever the case right. may be, and that she you know does these things and he has. Um, he has had meetings, I guess, with her, with prayer warriors, and all to no avail. Now, I really loved what someone in the comments in the shade room said, and this is coming from author, it's um, underscore CC Ivory. I hope I'm saying her name right, but this is what she said, and I really, really love this. Even if it's ongoing, and you can tell that this woman goes to church, she says, even if it's ongoing, you still could. Even if it's ongoing, you still could have given, you still could have gave the the cue to whoever is in place to escort her to another section of the church or room. This is what the church used to do back in the day. And if this is the case, why do you continue to have her up there singing with everyone if you feel this is a distraction? That doesn't make sense at all. Now, to go on national TV and talk about this girl in front of the world is absolutely ridiculous and immature. I truly pray that she is 100% mentally sane and doesn't fall into some type of depression from this. This was not a good move. And I thought that what she said was apt. Like, I thought it was, was necessary. I, I, I do. I feel like he, she could have taken her to another room. You don't want to. It was always almost kind of humiliating, isn't it? Because he walked, he walked across the stage to her and, and pointed, pointed her, at her, her out and told right. her to hush. Yeah. Me, when he was and then it continued. And didn't just say hush, but continued. Then so silence just, in the name of Jesus. And then and then he and then he said, I, you know, I only want to hear Jesus. Well, after you've done all that, haven't you really disrupted your stuff? Listen, we're not Christians. We're Muslim. But I have a lot of family. My mother is Christian, right? So I was raised with most of the family. Well, I wouldn't say the whole family is Christian because some of them are on spiritual journeys. But my (laughs) sister is Christian. My mom is Christian. I have, you know, nieces and nephews that are Christian. Um, we both we were we times. were raised. I was raised with both Christianity and Islam, and then we, you know, we had the choice of choosing what where we want to go. Now, um, we have been to church. Several My kids times. have gone to church several times because we had a full, a nanny that was um, Christian. I've prayed with Christians. Yes, and we've Especially done that many times. The and the thing is, like the thing is. When we go to church, the churches that we've been to, we've always seen somebody. They've been quite active. They've been quite active. Somebody's yelling. Someone someone's is yelling, doing. Someone's, someone's just, doing. This This was very tiny. Like, people are, like, doing the banjos. They are running up and down the aisle. You know, when I went to right? church, I saw this woman running up and down the steps. And she was I saw a down whole the deacon step. running up and down the aisle. Yeah. And he ran around the aisle. Yeah. And, like, and I'm still able to pray. And enjoy the service and say my hallelujah and do my hymns. Like he was only singing some hymn and he was talking in some tongues. And you know something? When you talk in tongues, how do you get distracted? By the time you're starting to talk in tongues, man, you're like on another like um, dimension. 
so how do you hear this woman in a lower dimension if you are saying that she's not from Jesus Christ? Like, come and on. And my thing is, you're not him, so you really don't know her intention. Maybe this woman was going through a lot, and she just really she needed looks, to cry out. There when you look times- at this woman, when I just looked, I'm just, I'm just going by my eye test. She looks like she's hurting. There's something going on in there. I, I don't know if she's mentally sane or whatever. And like the lady, the author, C.C. Ivory says, if it was such a distraction, you could have got someone, show some grace to her, lower a gentle wing to mm-hmm. her, have someone who will take her, two of them, who will grab her and take her away to that corner room there. Or just to go talk to her. And talk to her and say, give her something to drink. You know, give her a little snack. Maybe blood sugar has gone down. And my thing is, you can't be too prideful and say that, oh, I know the difference between a disturbance and a worship. Only God knows that. You're not in that woman's mind. You don't know what's going on to her on a day-to-day level. You don't know what her struggle is. You don't know what her conversations with God are. You don't know what her relationship with God is. Come on, And sometimes when I am praying, you know, there have been times where I just break down the tears and I'm just on the floor sobbing. Yes. Like four or five tissue boxes. have been used like it comes up there's something coming up with her and so you have to maybe spend time maybe you not spending time with her maybe your wife spending time with her with these prayer warriors and you guys talking to this woman and trying to bring in some of those things out of her maybe she needs a good holy water washing something you know what i'm saying also sometimes when you pray sometimes you can't just be silent sometimes you have to like you gotta say a hallelujah god Allahu Akbar! You gotta say something. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Oh, can he do it? Yes, he can. Like yesterday, I was screaming with my Jamaican friend, Pru Pru. I was like, she said, yes, he can do it. Can Christ do it? Yes, he can. I was there screaming, Allahu Akbar! Allah! I, 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 I didn't even know whether Pune's notes were Allahu Akbar. That's why she was like, what? what? She, maybe she's speaking in tongues. But, you know, we were having, I was giving her a testimony that I had, you know, what God has done for me recently. And um, I tell you, so, yeah, we got to have more grace than that. You're the pastor. You know, you don't, you don't disgrace someone like that on television and then you come out to tell her business. That is a no-no. And they try to throw we her must, under the bus to save we your own must, self. We must at all points. We must be civilized. At all costs, we, we must, must be, be civilized. civilized. You coming on the Tamron Hall show. No, 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 no. That's a no, well, no. To what tell he house with- business to the public. Why else? Hey, you, you mm, no, 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 no. Differently. Don't let no imam go out there to talk about somebody in the congregation. Yeah. About some in-house stuff and how you corrected them and because they're on TV. Four years. I'm dealing no. with this. My- oh hell no, hell, hell. No, even the imams will come out and tell the person, like, oh, that's a no-no. We keep it as mess in your house. That's a no-no. Yeah, y'all. But that was just our opinion on this. Y'all and, let uh, us know. Uh, uh, Shawnee, you should not have been there sitting next to him. No. Let him handle his stuff to himself. Don't be there sitting and next to him. him. When he is, let him not drag you when he's made a mistake. He drag you, you will sit next to him. No. No, Sari. You are the mother of the church now. And you, your place needs to be with that lady and the prayer warriors. You don't come when he's trying to explain himself. No, no. Don't drag me to Tamron Hall. Yeah, y'all. But it is Mary. And, um, and you we'll- don't, Look, you don't see Melania out there uh, uh, trying to be up there with Donald Trump. You see her at home or somewhere. But she ain't in the public. <laughs> Well, he's going through his shenanigans. All right, y'all. Well, we'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.